The name of the movie is Yusogi. In the beginning, we are shown two gamblers, who were playing gambling. One of them was Baku, while the other was the leader of a famous Kakuro club. Now, where these two were playing gambling, it was the club Kakuro. This was the most famous club in Japan. It had made many famous gambling games. Many people from the government were also included in this club. This organization was so strong that the government could also be challenged here. Here, Baku challenges the leader of this club directly. And he says that if he loses in this game, then they can also kill him. But the club leader tells someone else to play in his place. Their game had started. The referee here tells them that your game is that. You just have to think and tell whether a plane will pass within an hour from here or not. Here Baku says that the plane will pass in the last within an hour from here. But the Kakuro club was so powerful that they stopped all the flights because of which now no plane could pass from there. The trap that Baku had played, that is, the plane he had hired, to pass from here, it did not pass, because the club leader had also killed his pilot. Baku loses this game, his defeat was announced, because of this, according to Baku, if he loses, they can kill him. The referee takes out his gun and starts killing him. Then the leader here stops him, and says that Baku will leave this city and go somewhere else and his membership was also terminated from Kakuro Club. After this, the scene shifts in. We are shown the time after three years, where we see Baku roaming around in a small town. Now he had come to a group who were playing gambling. There was a man among them whom no one was able to defeat. Baku bets one million here and won the game, but the man who was winning the game repeatedly, he had put a magnets on his dice. That's why he was repeatedly winning this game. Baku also brings the secret of that man in front of everyone. All the people who were playing with him, now start beating him. In the evening, Baku meets a friend of his, who tells him that there is someone like you, who wants to defeat the leader of Kakuro Club. Like Baku tried three years ago, he is a researcher and his name is Iki. There was a big blast in his lab, in which all his colleagues were killed. Now Iki wants to defeat the leader of Kakuro Club, wanted and take the highest position there. After hearing all this, Baku also decides to go back to Tokyo, Japan because he also wanted to take revenge for his defeat from the leader of Kakuro Club. After this, we are shown a gambling game. Iki was sitting and playing with the minister, but very soon he defeats the minister. The minister was very angry about this. He tells his colleagues to kill the referee of the game, because he felt that the referee has helped Iki. When the minister attacks, the referee was also very good at fighting here. He kills the minister and his men in a little while. After that, the same referee goes to Iki and offers him to be his assistant, on which Iki also agreed. On the other hand, we see Baku who had reached Tokyo City. There he meets a boy named Kaji. Kaji was a very good person, but due to the betrayal of his friends, he had incurred a huge debt. Baku feels pity about his condition and he tells him, that if you want, I can help you pay your debt. Kaji, who was very worried, agrees to his words. In the evening, they both go to a club which was of Baku's friend. Here. Whatever money Baku had, he played a game with it and won the game with his cleverness. Everyone in the club was very surprised at Baku's victory. His friend was also surprised at his victory. Because he had 5 million won, and he gives all the money to Kaji so he could repay his debt and spend his life easily. Baku had given him all the money and said goodbye and left. Because he could not put Kaji's life in danger with him like this. After this, we see Kaji who had paid off all his debt but now he had no other purpose in his life. That's why he was also very bored in his life. He had money but when he was with Baku, he enjoyed his life much at that time. On the other hand, we see Baku who had now reacted Iki. He challenges him to play a game with him, but now Baku was not a member of Kakeru Club, so Iki forbids him to play a game with him. After which Baku goes to his friend in the club. He asks her for help because he wanted to become a member of Kakeru Club again. His friend tells Baku that, you will have to find someone, who will give you the membership of the club with his own will. Only then you can become a member of Kakeru Club again. His friend tells him about an old man, who had the membership of Kakeru Club. She says that man can be useful to you, but he is a little crazy. You will have to meet him carefully. He is the one who can give you his membership. Before Baku's friend tells him something else, he heard half of her words and left. Now when Baku was leaving, he meets Kaji again, who tells him again that I want to live with you again. 
He agrees, and now they make a plan to meet the old man. Baku's friend told him about him. Their plan was that both of them will become poor in front of the old man. Now they do the same. Their plan was successful. The old man offers them gambling seeing their condition. After which he brought them to his house which was in a jungle. The old man tells them about the game, that they will have to catch some of his animals, and for that they will be given some time. If you succeed in doing this, I will give you 10 million as a reward. Here Baku meets the referee, who came from the Kakero club. Baku tells the old man that, if I win this game, I don't want money, but I want your membership of Kakero club. The old man agreed to what Baku said. Before the game starts, Baku gives a pen gift to the referee, which was not a normal pen, it had a mic in it, so that he could hear the words of referee and the old man during the game. The game had started. Baku and Kaji went to the jungle to find the old man's animals. Where they find out that, the one they have to find is not an animal, but a companion of the old man who also has guns. They had to compete with them. Here, the pen which Baku gave to the referee, he records the old man's voice in his device with the help of his pen. He now uses his voice to call his companions, and kills them one by one. When they go a little further, the old man's companions, who had put ropes there to trap them in them, they trap them there and wear their clothes in, find the rest of the people. Thus, before the time was up, Baku and Kaji had completed the game. The old man was very angry about this, because he could not let Baku win. So he calls another man there, who was no one else but his son, who had turned into a monster due to some disease. But he had a weakness. He feels sleepy after every 15 minutes, which Baku and Kaji saw him who was coming towards them. They both get scared and run away from there and hide in a warehouse, where they get a medicine to make them unconscious. Seeing this, Baku now had an idea. He now uses that medicine, to make the old man's son unconscious. After a while, he was able to get a membership card from the old man. That is, he had won this game before the time was up. Now when the referee comes to them, he congratulates Kaji on becoming a member of Kaker's club. But Kaji was quite surprised to hear this. Here we find out that the Leader of Kakero Club had cancelled Baku's membership. Forever. And this was the reason why Baku had brought Kaji with him. So that he could be useful in his game. That's why Baku had given his own membership to Kaji. Kaji, who was refusing the referee to take membership. But here the referee says, you don't worry. Nothing wrong will happen to you, and you've to trust Baku. On the other side, Baku goes to the old man's son. He takes off his mask and sees that. He was not a monster, but. He was trained to look like a monster, but he was still a common man. Baku now takes off his mask and offers him to join him. The old man's son also joined his team. Next we are shown Ikki's lab. Here we find out what actually happened to his companions. Ikki's wanted to tell other countries about his invitation, without any money, but the government of that country did not allow him to do so. So they send a gift for Ikki in the lab, in which there was a bomb, because of which all Ikki's companions were killed. And in that accident, his eyes go away. Icky was blind. That's why he, after becoming a member of Kakero Club, wanted to take revenge of his condition from the government there. That day had also come when Baku and Icky's game would start. Everyone was watching them live, including the members of the Kakero and Baku's friend. As soon as Baku and Icky come to the club, everyone was very excited to see them. At the same time, Icky's assistant scares Kaji, and by mistake, by firing bullets from his gun, he spoils the camera there. The people who were watching them online. They bet money on them. And at the same time, they also decide the punishment of the loser. In which the punishment was that the loser would be hanged with his partner. Meanwhile, we also see the leader of Kakero Club, who was very happy to see this all. How much money people have invested in his game. Their gambling game had started. The referee tells that every player will have to take a card from his opponent without seeing it and then match those cards with his card. He also tells about the same old mate cards, which had a total of 5 numbers. If a player has a total of 11 numbers, then he will lose. Here the referee also says that both of you can use any trick. But the condition is that the other player does not know anything. The first round begins, in which Iki takes the right card. While Baku chooses the old mate card for the first time, everyone was worried to see this. But Baku was not worried at all. He was feeling very relaxed. The second time Baku takes the wrong card, from which he was very close to losing. Seeing this, his friend and Kaji were very worried, 
because they had invested all their money on Baku. The third time Baku takes the old mate card, from which he had a total of 10 cards. Now when the last round begins, Baku had come to know about Iki's move. He was able to see his card with the help of a device. That's why Baku eats his favorite biscuit, and starts playing the last round. He had come to know that Iki was, able to see everything with the help of cameras. Although he was blind, but someone had, put such a device inside him that was attached to the CCTV cameras. Here Baku now starts playing his move. He sees Iki's cards, and he keeps the old mate card ahead. Iki takes those cards. Now Iki's points were less and Baku's were getting more. When Iki's assistant sees that Baku is cheating, she starts telling her boss Iki. But no one could help anyone here. That's why the referee tells her to be quiet. Baku had won the game and he also tells everyone about Iki. He has cheated in all the games. Now seeing all this, Iki's assistant was getting angry. He was going to attack Baku. The referee fights and in this fight, Iki's assistant is killed. Now as the loser was to be hanged, this happens with Iki and his partner. But before dying, Iki had accepted his defeat. At the end of the story, we see Baku and his companions, who were going to the gambling arena. And with this, this story ends here.